welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Holy Spirit, who do you have a message for now? I've been thinking it might be about money, but we're, we're going to see what Spirit wants to do first. Okay. All right. Why are we doing Sagittarius again? I think it's because we didn't address your money. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying that it's because we, we did not address your money, so we're going to do a career and finance rating for you, or I'm going to do my best. Because I will be the first to admit that I also struggle a little bit. I'm, I, like I mentioned to you the other day, I'm used to making twice as much as I am now. And when you're used to making more and having more, you're used to spending more. And so I'm having to learn how to live within my means with a smaller amount of money. That was, I had um, one minute and 11 seconds on the clock when I said that. <clears throat> and it's hard to do that when you're used to having more and you have to learn how to live within a smaller budget. Okay, Spirit, can you please give us a prayer for Sagittarius money? Remember, you were praising God a while ago. Dear God, thank you for your gift of life, of faith, and of my calling. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you and others. Dear Father, thank you for making me your beloved child now and forever. Amen. So maybe you do something sort of like I do, and you're trying to figure out how you can make a living. And I'll be the first to admit, it can be very challenging to make a living, especially if you're trying to do it with just a YouTube channel. In, in fact, I don't think I could do it without my salary that I make working with Miss Mary. Um, if I had to de depend solely on YouTube, I would have to charge more. I would have to do extended. I would have to be a lot more ambitious in setting goals and figuring out how I could bring in, you know, more money. So, in that fact, I'm able to be a little bit more comfortable and relaxed while I figure things out. <clears throat> so, I'll be the first to admit that. That's not to say that it can't be done. I think that it can be done. I see people that do it all the time. And, and things are getting better for me every day. The more subscribers I get, the better things are financially for my channel. However, I have to promote my videos. <laughs> because if you guys don't share them for me and like them, and, you know, the more interaction we get, the more the videos get exposure on YouTube. And it's hard to get people to interact. It really is. And there are ways that you can even buy um, comments, you can pay for comments. You have to tell the people what you want the comments to say. And so, so there may be some people who pay for comments, and that might be why they have their comments, as many as they have on videos. Because once you have comments on there, other people will comment. It's like nobody wants to break the ice and be the only one to say anything. But who really cares? I mean, if you have something to say, say it. Don't be shy. <laughs> Speak up. All right, so I'm going to be quiet now. I don't know what to do, but we're going to try and figure that out. All right, let's find out what the Magic um, Oracle book might say to you, Sagittarius, about your career and finances. Magic Oracle, may I have a message for Sagittarius finances? Oracle says, snip, snip, snip. There may be situations or people that wish that you wish to remove yourself from. You will need a white piece of paper, a pen, half a lemon, scissors, matches, or a lighter. On a white piece of paper, write your name in big letters, and around it, write out what you wish to remove. This could be an X, hexes, debt negative energy, whatever you can think of. Then squeeze some lemon juice on the blades of some scissors and cut all the words away from your name. As you cut, feel a sense of relief of these things moving away from you. Now cut those words into tiny pieces. You can burn, flush, or just chuck these in, chuck these in the bin. 
place a piece of paper with you place the piece of paper with your name written on it on your altar or somewhere safe so spirit is indicating that one way that you can improve your career and finances is if you cut some things away and this is a, a way of tangibly doing that and representing the things that you want to cut away out of your life so think about doing that because these rituals that are in this book, I have found them to be very, very helpful. Uh, what virtues are you working on in Sagittarius's career and finances, Spirit? <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I'm going to put it back and do that again. What virtues are you working on in Sagittarius's career? Generosity. Spirit's working on generosity with you. And compassion. So you're somebody who's very compassionate and generous. Maybe you're too generous. That could be uh, the case for sure. And then you have joy also. So, so for you to be very happy and to praise God in all things. So your spirit wants you to be generous, generous and compassionate and have joy. And you may already be these things. You may be, you may be over giving somehow. Or you may need others to be generous and compassionate towards you. We'll have to see what comes out in the reading. Alright, Spirit. Let's see. How do you want to do this? How would you like to do this, Spirit? Alright. Show me what you want to do, Spirit. What's working in Sagittarius' career and finance right now? That's, that's that joy. The joy and the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant is like a contract or um, an agreement, a uh, official agreement or official. Maybe you work for yourself and you don't have to, um, maybe you're your own, this looks like to me what's working is you're, you maybe are your own boss or you're happy that you don't have to be restricted by something higher level. Alright, what's not working? What's not working? Justice came out with the chariot. Justice and the chariot. They came out in reverse. This is the energy to overcome. There's some something in just or you could, you could need new housing and you're trying to figure out what you have to do to get. Or you may just need to overcome. We'll see. Let's just see what happens. All right. And how is this going to come together? The world. Something's going to end. There's something in your life that's significant, a, a significant chapter of your life. And then we have the wheel in reverse uh, on the bottom of the deck. Alright, I want to find out, uh, I want to try, try a, few, a few ways to find out how this might have happened. How things, you know, um, can go forward in your career and finance. Alright. Alright, how did this happen to Sagittarius when it comes to their money? <laughs> right. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. And the point of power is always in the present moment with I am safe. It is only change. Okay. Somehow you're having to love and accept yourself. And you're having to know that the point of power is in this moment. Not in the past, not in the future, but right now. And that you're safe and it's only change. You might be having to move. Somebody even has suitcases here. Or you might be having to travel. You might be having to change jobs. You might, it might be scary that you're having to change jobs. Alright, what's being hidden? That life supports you. That you can be flexible and flowing. And that all is well in your world. So you're showing up as being happy that you don't have a job. <laughs> Honestly, that's what it looks like to me. But secretly, you don't you don't see that life supports you. You need to be more flexible and flowing. And 
you're not really so secure. I think what's what's working is spirit is trying to help you to be happy without this. Um, like the hierophant is a contract. This could mean that you you haven't signed a contract somehow. You haven't got this higher level commitment. Whatever this higher level commitment is, maybe for some of you it could be marriage. Um, you haven't got. A commitment in a relationship and you're trying to do things um as like a single mom single dad type thing you're having to um, love yourself so you can love others and you're having to stay present in this current moment and you're having to be um, reassured that you're safe with the changes that are happening for you all right and what's being shown <clears throat> that you're beautiful and everybody loves you so maybe you do something like I do <laughs> And then on the bottom, oh, what's going to happen next? Forgot to do the happen next part. What's going to happen next? You're going to be at peace. So somehow you are going to find this peace. And that's what the sun represents to me, is peace. It's, it's knowing that everything's well in your world. It's, you know, the sun is shining, everything's good. Everything's good. And then you're going to express your creativity. So somehow, some of you may do what I do, or you may do something similar to what I do. Um, you could use your creativity somehow, or you're supposed to be using it. All right, now let's go a little deeper here. How did this happen to Sagittarius, Spirit? You want to have a happy family. We all want that, don't we? We all want to have a happy family. And it takes money to have a happy family. Let's just be honest. Um, this is... A, a four and there's a rainbow here and there's a man and a woman with two children a girl and a boy and the boy looks like he's about maybe 10 and the girl looks like she's maybe 14 or 15 that might or may not be significant to your life they're on the beach that may also be significant like maybe you want to be in a place in life where you can go on vacation or maybe you've recently gone on vacation or you're planning to go on vacation but you want to be able to take care of your family and not have to worry about struggling with money that's how this happened all right well what's being hidden damn deceit came out in reverse deceit came out in reverse all right what's being shown there's a contract here the magician in the mirror, the garden in the gate, and a contract. But it's all in reverse. That's what's being shown. Everything's coming out in reverse now. All right, what's going to happen next? Adjacent possibilities, walking away in reverse, and healer of the ages. So it's like there's some deceit we got to look into here. I want to know what this means. And I mean, if, if you are curious, I'm going to let you know too. Because I can tell you intuitively what I think this means. It looks like to me that you're trying to manifest something very official. Um, it maybe could even be something legal going on here because we have justice. You could have something legal going on here that's affecting your money. Um, but it looks like to me that you're trying to manifest this happiness. You're trying to manifest that, but you're, you're up against some deceit. And I want to know exactly what that means. I put, look, I turned right to this, the page. That's always something significant. Hidden tactics and manipulation. It's in reverse, though. Reversing this card, reverse, puts you on notice that the deceit of the past is over or about to end. Perhaps some enmity at work is being dissolved, or maybe a more open communication has developed in your personal life. Be assured that the negative and dishonest energy is on its way out, and take advantage of a new peaceful and open environment, one where you will be able to forge more success and greater comfort. On a deeper level, this card reversed is telling you that the period of self-deceit is over. 
You are now ready to see the abiding truth of your own value, power, and deserving. It may take continued effort, but your honesty with yourself regarding these truths will bring even greater value into your life. All right, so that explains even more why we have the sun here. <clears throat> this, this world card is about this period of your life where there's been a lot of difficulty. To me, this, this is like... For, it, it'll be different for everybody, but you've been through a rough patch and you were either being deceived by somebody or you were deceiving yourself, okay? And it has to do with life supporting you, being flexible, and then knowing that all is well in your world. And it's about spirit wanting you to be happy even though you don't have some kind of contract, okay? And then over here... You, what's being shown is that you're supposed to maybe have this contract, but for some reason, all, all of it's in reverse. Let me see if I can find out why it's in reverse. Why is this all in reverse, Spirit? May I see? Because of a woman holding a coin in reverse, envy, and yin and yang. So it looks like to me that somebody else has been getting your money instead of you. Because of jealousy. I mean, I'm just saying. It looks like somebody else has been getting the money that you were supposed to get because of their own jealousy. And it has to do with yin and yang in reverse, which I have no idea, but I'm going to see if I can find out. <clears throat> yin and yang reverse. This card reversed reveals a yang cycle, which is one of active, ongoing energy. This time calls for a more logical approach to things, but the logical needs to be applied to purposeful action. This cycle is often marked by creativity and new beginnings, sometimes significant outer change. Let yourself apply more forceful energy to the task at hand and take advantage of this highly charged gain time. I am open to understanding the cycle I am in. I am willing to utilize this energy beneficially. All that I need is already a part of me. And then we have this envy. There's a woman holding a coin. There's, so there's a woman holding a coin in reverse because of envy. Alright, let's see. We can see what this envy means real quick. It's upright too. Envy, lack, and dissatisfaction. This card shows a woman holding a huge pearl in one hand and a platter of coins and pearls in the other. She stands in a silver room looking out on a golden city on the horizon. She has a life of value already, but she ignores that and longs for the shining prosperity she sees elsewhere. Instead of feeling happy and fulfilled, her desire for more only causes a deep sense of lack and dissatisfaction. And that energy shows in her dress. This card upright is telling you to let go of jealousy and acknowledge the blessings you already have in your life. Now is the time to shift your focus. After all, when you envy others, it only attracts more of them, not you. More to them, not you. Notice all that you have and thank the, un thank the universe for it. If this card is near the appreciation card in your spread, the message is doubly important. Now is the time to move from a consciousness of lack to one of value. With this shift, all things will change. And it has to do with this woman, ho woman holding a coin. Let's see what that says. 42. <clears throat> the woman holding the coin is reversed. This card reversed could indicate that you're feeling unsure or fearful about finances or some health issue. It could also reveal a lack of value for yourself and your own life. Pointing to someone else when this card comes in reverse, it shows a woman who may be reducing your own money or simply may not have your best interest, that's what I thought, in mind regarding your financial affairs. It could also be someone who devalues or criticizes you or causes you to doubt your own value. It could even be that the harmful energies of a woman from the past are still influencing you today. Be aware that you don't have to let anyone else's negative vibration influence you at any time. 
Release any toxic connection and know that you are free to divine and value, define and value yourself no matter what. So somehow the jealousy of this woman has got you out of balance. There's somebody in your life or in your past, or this could be you, that's jealous. And it's causing you to have a lack mentality. But I think it might be somebody else because of this deceit over here. But Spirit says you're going to finally see that you have adjacent possibilities. And that this is a weakness for you. And you're going to trust in this healer of the ages. When it comes to not walking away. So you could be on the verge of giving up because of this. That's what it looks like might be about to happen next. Honestly, let's see what it means. 27. Number 27. When it's in reverse, walking away. This card reversed signals that you may be feeling very stuck in some present situation or location. There may be a job or a relationship that no, that no longer resonates with you. Yet, out of habit or perhaps fear, you allow yourself to stay when it might be healthier to consider walking away. That could be why the higher fonts in reverse right here. Because what's working is you hate this job and you know you could be happy if you would just let it go. <laughs> Some of you may be in a job that you're just staying in out of habit. Habit and familiarity are compelling forces, often causing people to ignore their intuition and even dishonor their genuine feelings. This is a time of honest investigation. Consider all of the factors in the present situation. Perhaps the timing isn't quite right, and there may be some purpose in staying a little while longer. Don't deceive yourself about motivations. However, fear-based decisions don't often work out in your highest interest. You also may be stuck in a long-term personal habit or unhealthy pattern. Be aware that you always have the option the responsibility to let go of any thought or behavior that no longer honors you. Whenever you walk away from negativity, you always move for, towards greater happiness. So this could be patterns that you have developed, like unhealthy spending habits, overspending, um, just not saving anything, you know, anything that is keeping you stuck. Okay, but you definitely have a woman that's jealous and it's causing your money to be taken from you. Like somebody is is getting the money that you were supposed to get. This could be somebody at a job, like maybe they got the promotion that was meant for you and you know that they stole it from you by sleeping with the boss. I mean, there's all kinds of ways you could look at this. Take it as it resonates, but you see what's going on here and how this needs to be looked at, okay? All right, I'm going to shuffle these cards one time. Outlook and the people you spend the most time with shape who you are. And we see you've got a woman here that's deceived you out of some money somehow. All right. All right. How did this happen to Sagittarius? A Sagittarius spirit says your luck. Your luck is about to change for the better. You could be about to get a lucky break or a financial breakthrough. Anything you do now will be very prosperous for you. Work hard in silence. All right, what's being hidden? What's being hidden is a teacher knowing that success will find you. A teacher and knowing that success will find you. So somebody may want to help you to learn more. You have the ability to motivate others to thrive and to uncover their personal potential. Consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentoring, or being a motivational speaker. You've learned much about money. This is the time to put it into practice, and success will find you. Okay, that's what's being hidden, is that you can have success, and that you either can teach others, mentor others, or somehow you can work with this teaching energy. Or that you may have just learned a lot, and now you, you're going to be successful. <clears throat> All right, or you may have somebody who wants to teach and mentor you. Okay, now what's being shown? Outlook came out, and it came out over here with success will find you. Improve your relationship with money to help grow your wealth. 
You may have conflicting values that impose negatively on your values around money. Change behavior and develop better money habits. And I'm sure we can all do that. All right, what's being shown, Spirit? Control. Try to be a little more flexible and allow the universe to work its magic. Don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form you wanted it to. Sometimes blessings come in disguise. Stay open-minded to see the potential. And then this came out in what's being shown. And remember, there's somebody here that's jealous. And they got the opportunity that you should have somehow. Somebody's controlling the money here. All right. What's going to happen next? I'm just going to let them come out. Somebody has fear of retail and transportation. Retail. If you have an idea in mind, this is giving you the green light that there is a, um, a need for it. Consider careers in retail or e-commerce, e whether it's goods or services. Save time, energy, and add passive income by taking your business online. And then fear. Overcome your fear of success or failure. Don't sabotage your own success. Don't allow your fears to make you forget your greatness. Remain positive and on track. It may require to, you to step out of your comfort zone to achieve the abundance you desire. And then transporter. This is a good indicator that things will start moving quickly, for, rather quickly for you. A career in transportation such as travel, driving, or shipping could appeal to you. You could travel for work or perhaps you need to take action on some financial matter. There's somebody calling me from some financial service. <laughs> okay, so somehow what's going to happen next is you have some fear. This could be fear about how you're going to make ends meet and buy the things you need and even move. <clears throat> By retail somebody's controlling your money though it has to do with growing up and being a perfectionist growing up and being a perfectionist all right clarify fear fear is about a partnership and you manifesting arguments all right clarify transporter that's something in your past Okay. Why is control here? This is about the promoter. The promoter. Maybe people don't promote your stuff because they're jealous. You might have the wrong audience watching your show if you're actually into this kind of thing. But somehow, <clears throat> you're trying to move, you're like, you have this fear of moving, and it has to do with the past, and there's retail here, and it's about you growing up and being a perfectionist, and when I clarified that, it was about a partnership you've manifested in some arguments. Clarify arguments, it's about things changing. Uh, advice for Sagittarius Spirit. Here it says, there's something better. You need to plan this and do it easy. Uh, eat, go easy. Go, go slow and steady. And it has to do with you being crafter. There's something better. A planner, easy does it, and crafter. That's the advice. All right. Anything else for Sagittarius? Parenthood is here. I think some of you need money to help take, to take care of your children, and you're afraid you're not going to have what you need, including a reliable vehicle to drive. And it's because you've had this happen to you in the past. Your car might be on the verge of giving out. And you have these children to take care of, and people are arguing with you about money. You're trying to manifest a, a partnership and have... This partnership with somebody, but they're arguing with you, and it has to do with parenthood. And somebody is controlling your money by the way they make you appear. This promoting. Why is this person doing this, Spirit? 
because they don't want you to have anything. They want to bring your money to a halt because they are unfulfilled. Somebody is, um, somebody's taking money from you somehow, um, and maybe from your, your children is what it looks like to me. All right, Spirit, what, what can we do for Sagittarius here to help them to move beyond this? Why is the Hierophant here with the sun? There's a Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. This is a real bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying. This is somebody who is supposed to have good boundaries, but they'd ha their boundaries are trash. I think there's family stuff going on here. Let me get the other deck here. How did this happen to Sagittarius? <laughs> Somebody's being an asshole. All right. <laughs> Well, what's being hidden? Sending a picture. Sent a picture somehow and it was hidden. Alright, what's being shown? Fuck your feeling. You have logic for a reason. And get hot and sweaty. Work out. Wow. Somebody was being an asshole. You sent them a picture and I think they hurt your feelings somehow by making you feel like you're not enough. What's going to happen next? Maybe you're a model. You're going to deal with your drama. Exes, old hurts, and unresolved shit. And love can hurt like hell. Clarify, send a picture. Spend time with your child or bae. You think you have them all figured out. You're hot, hot, smart, and you have a great ass. And you're on the same team. Play like it. I think, yeah, I think you have children with somebody. And y'all have to be able to get along. I, mean, I think you want to spend time with this person or you want this person to spend time. You may have sent a picture of your child. And they may have made comments about your weight after having a child. And then we have somebody being irritated. I'd be irritated too. Oh, right. Damn, boy. Sorry ass people in this world. Alright, so somebody was being a bitch right here. That's what's up there. Why is justice in reverse? <clears throat> because of a page of wands, the lovers in reverse, and the devil. This could definitely be about a child. They could have a fire placement, the child. And then we have Gemini here and we have Capricorn here. To, this, is a, this is this legal stuff. This um, Whatever needs to be made right. This energy to overcome. And it's about somebody making a decision. They can also just be arguing with you. Um, and really making you feel like, you know, they... They're making a decision, and it has this negativity with it. Why is the chariot in reverse? Seven of swords. Yes, yeah, somebody's really deceitful. This is what you have to overcome. It's feeling like there's no decision, and like you're just this, this deception that's going on. That's what you have to overcome. That's a lot to overcome, too, baby. I can tell you that right now. But it looks like spirit's about to end it. Why is the world here? Because of release and the Page of Swords. That's what's about to end. Alright, and this death card here is about a transformation. It What's going to happen that's going to pull this together is something just never changes. Or you think it's never going to change. Clarify which it is, Spirit. Damn. The moon, the three of cups in reverse, and strength in reverse. So somebody could definitely have an addiction here that they're hiding. Somebody could be hiding an addiction and they're spending money on that. And it's taken away from you and the children and the things that y'all need. And it could have even caused them... It may, may have, it's got somebody feeling helpless and hopeless. Alright, why is the wheel on the bottom of the deck? This is what's going to change your situation. This wheel. Why is the wheel in reverse? Because 
there's an emperor here. Okay. This is this wheel is about an emperor who's not working that wants to rebuild and they are in hermit mode about it. They're they're soul searching about how they can rebuild their life. Why is there what's their motives behind doing this? Because they're unfulfilled and unhappy. And it has to do with defending themselves against the Queen of Wands. And because we have strength here, this could definitely be a Leo. It's like they're unfulfilled and unhappy and they're constantly having to defend themselves. This could also be you, Sagittarius. Take it as it resonates. All right. What's the, per the person that's thinking so deeply about this? What's the, what are they likely to do next, Spirit? Oh, wow. It came out in reverse. I'm going to turn it around. Be by themselves because they're tired of dealing with people who lack integrity, throwing them out of balance. Or, why is the, um, why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah. Yeah, that right now they're just they're just like in this decision, this place of decision, and they're like in denial about it still. But they're gonna realize that this person right here is why they're so unhappy. This Queen of Wands is why they're so unhappy. If this this could be your own self, and that you allowing and putting up with um, people that lack integrity, you gotta stop that. You're gonna finally realize you have to stop that. Or this could be another person. And there's anger. There's going to be anger that you don't see coming. There's going to be probably a fight. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what needs to be surrendered here for you, Sagittarius, in order for your finances to improve. What needs to be surrendered for this? Wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So you've lost that... You've lost the, like, life has kind of lost its, its, its happiness. Like, you kind of feel unfulfilled, maybe. You have to allow spirit to, to, to amaze you again and just know that spirit can do anything. All right, what else needs to be surrendered? Don't compare yourself to other people. Keep your eyes in your own lane, okay? All right, what else? Trust. You have, to, you have to have trust and surrender to ha having joy in your life again. Or in your life for the first time. And then there's timing involved here. Sometimes the timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Alright, anything else that needs to be let go of? Somehow you have a fear of intimacy showing up and fear in, in general. So you have a lot of fear. And fear will keep you stuck. Okay? And then you have to surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. And I keep having resentments come up on the bottom of the deck. So I would imagine with this person that's been... Um, such a bitch and in controlling this money you probably do have some resentments all right one more time get more rest and sleep and surrender to your creativity you may be procrastinating and somebody here might have a problem with trying to control people all right let's see what might come out of this deck for you Sagittarius spellcasters all right messages for Sagittarius travel is here and strength. So this might be fear about traveling. And Spirit says, I'm going to make you strong and you're going to be able to travel. Alright, what else, Spirit? Peace is here and good luck. Alright, anything else? You're going to have animals, empowerment, protection, and inspiration with compassion, confidence, and healing on the bottom of the deck. All right, then. Can we get some more advice, guidance for Sagittarius? 
Here it says, think things through and, th and um, focus on positive. Gemini is here and Sagittarius is here. And speak your world into being. Think things through and focus on the positive. All right, anything else, Spirit, for Sagittarius' finances? All right, trust the universe. Be humble. <laughs> you keep getting the be humble message, so you must be very gifted. Go deeper. Make, take inspired action. Step into your power. Step up and lead and attune to the divine. And we keep getting this message for you over and over again. With clear your mind on the bottom of the deck. All right, now, I want to go back to this deck right here. If there is a project or something that Sagittarius is thinking about starting, something new, for uh, an idea to make money, or any kind of project that you're working on, it's going to help you to make money. Spirit, can you show Sagittarius what the outcome of that project will be? It's going to be an investment. Your finances are looking good and growing. It's a great time to invest. Set a strong foundation and you will see the fruits of your labor. So the outcome is going to be an investment. And then what will be the outcome of this investment that they make? You're going to have a business. The people you spend the most time with are going to shape who you are. And you're going to say yes to the things you think you can't do. Alright. Well, let's clarify the things they think they can't do. Whoa. It has to do with justice, exploring, reconsidering a decision, and using your voice. Alright. Clarify, use your voice. Clarify, use your voice. It's unrealistic. Why is it unrealistic to use their voice? Because things are unstable and you need angelic help. The writer is on the bottom of the deck. Alright. What would be the outcome of the angelic help? You got mechanic, spirituality, counselor, and leadership. So, you're working on your spirituality, and you have a counselor in leadership. Work hard in silence. What will be the outcome of all of this? I'm not sure I understand any of this, but you will. You're going to have to be patient because of goals and things that are unexpected. Why is unexpected here? Because of a rebel that works to make peace, new money, and charity. Clarify the new money. It has to do with an artist, an entertainer, and somebody's help. Why is there help here? Because this is destiny. An outcome of the entertainer. They're going to be a motivator. Work hard in silence and have options with a gift on the bottom of the deck. Gift, independent, and be persistent. All right, so I think that's pretty much what I can give you right now, Sagittarius. Spirit, can we get a dream card for Sagittarius? Whenever life throws obstacles in your way and things don't go as planned, accept them and say, thank you. I'm ready for the lesson this alternative path will teach me. I trust these lessons are valuable for my dreams to come true. Anything else? Trust the process. Everything is as it should be, even though it might seem that everything is going wrong. Live life with an open heart. Don't resist, but thank each experience that guides you on your way. The road might be bumpy, but don't give up and don't lose faith. Imagine the life you really want to live. Observe your surroundings through new possibilities. Shape your consciousness to include your dreams. We are offered advice from all directions on how to best live our lives. The best way for you is the way you choose for yourself again and again every morning. Okay. And 
how are the angels helping Sagittarius with their finances, Spirit? Fire, joy, and unity. So passion, fire, joy, and unity. Anything else? They're helping you manifest and to feel the vibrations. Okay? That's nice. It's, and you're going to be grounded in a relationship. All right, anything else? There's going to be a divine plan and forgiveness. One more time. Somebody's going to surrender to a partnership. They're going to have prosperity and peace with creative power under that. All right, what needs to be... Um, healed for Sagittarius to have a better outcome here. Letting go and a phoenix rising. What else? You gotta let go. You have to let go of this temptation. Um, unleash your creativity and don't feel like a victim. I'm, I'm sure you could with what you've been through. All right, anything else? You need to work on your um, alchemy skills and inner child is here with pride on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> we saw you have to be humble. Remember to always be humble, Sagittarius. It's hard sometimes when people mistreat you the way it looks like they've mistreated you. All right, anything else you want to say to Sagittarius about their money before we close, Spirit? Let's get one of these. This is Work Your Light Oracle. What would you say to Sagittarius out of Work Your Light Oracle? Good, strong answers, please. Thank you, Spirit. The ever-unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. In Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, you have helpers in the subtle realms. All right, what else? You have protection. Again, you keep getting protection, too. Call back your power. Cut the cord. Soul retrieval. Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. An inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart with you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing true north I had a dream last night that I was with my family with my mom and all of her friends were around and they were all astrologists they were all very um, gifted and had like very successful businesses as astrology in astrology rather um and i'm not sure what that meant but it was like i remember one of them saying to me something that i read here the akasha they said that they said that they felt like i had um been given the gift to access the um akashic records So I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> That's what I dreamed last night. And it was kind of a wild dream. I guess I need to look into that a little bit further. Because basically those records are supposed to contain everything that's ever going to happen or ever has happened or ever will happen. Mm -hmm. And they said that I had access to those records to help people heal. So I have to find out how to access those. And that's what it says here, that you're divinely guided for this. Mm -hmm. Tune into the portal of your heart. Be devoted. All right, Sagittarius. I guess that's going to be a wrap. I will pull some trinkets. I'm not going to do dice for this. I'm just going to pull some trinkets. for Sagittarius is <clears throat> All right, look, the astrology dice came out, Sagittarius. <laughs> All right, I have an archangel, Michael probably. I have a crystal. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. An Eiffel Tower, an elephant, a sunshine, a bee, another elephant. We'll, we'll, um, after all this time, live, laugh, and love. A squid, no, a hand. You probably, maybe you're a card reader. Um, a turtle and a cat. <laughs> And a marble. And peace in Arabic. Another hand. Somebody definitely plays cards here. And then I have um, 
an infinity sign that says love, a bicycle, the word wish, a tree of life, a music note, a crescent moon with a star, a shell, somebody's name might be shell, another crescent moon with a star, a, a feather, and a rocket. <clears throat> I don't know why they told me that, but all these women were very gifted and they were friends of my mother, which my mother in this lifetime, that is not the case. <laughs> so I don't know who this, this was, but it felt very real, like it was happening and really happening. It woke me up. It was so real. I have three huge keys. Got to get you a message from the I Ching. Live, laugh, and love again. A prick or cactus. Somebody might be in the military. Another prick or cactus, a horse, a heart that says love that's in the wrong bowl, and every fair from fair sometimes declines, William Shakespeare, a sailboat, believe in love, a feather, a feather, a horse, a prick, a tramp stamp, an arrow for you, another arrow for you with a heart on it, no matter where. An octopus or a squid. Because somebody had their hand in too many pockets here. And then I have the I Ching. And let me pull you an I Ching card. Sagittarius. And you know, if you could access those records and actually counsel people and help them to find the areas in their life where they're needing to work through um, deep healing, you could definitely be a, a fabulous counselor, couldn't you? Alright, I have opposing, release, and small taming with without entanglement on the back. Okay, opposing. You contain contradictory impulses within you or see a situation from two angles at once. Perhaps as things are and as omens. If you can scale down matters to small affair, it is easier to give space to both visions, even using the opposing views as creative stimulus or challenge. What if the difference were not a threat? How could this tension be creative? If you can't see eye to eye, what can you see? And to release is to liberate, to solve problems, to untie knots. The first step is going back to your roots to reconnect with home and allies, especially if you have no clear destination. When you know where you're coming from, you can be more certain about where you're going, and then you can explore ways to reach it. If nothing could bind you, where would you go? Do you have to? Who says? Which path leads to where you want to be? And then small taming. A time of restraint brings great hope for future growth and success, but it may feel more like frustration and setbacks where things don't quite work yet. You must cultivate the situation and yourself in small ways, caring for the details, developing your readiness and fitness conscientiously. What small thing can I work on today? How can I cultivate a better terrain? And then without entanglement. Freedom from entanglement from what is not yours, such as others' problems or events that are not your responsibility, brings extraordinary energy. It liberates the natural and spontaneous creative flow and grounds you in present reality. A good time to reevaluate plans, dreams, and goals from where you are right now. What is real? What is genuinely your responsibility? And what is not yours at all? All right, Sagittarius, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.